What's up, Ning boys, and welcome to a brand new FIFA 19 video. Today, we're going to be looking at the new icons in FIFA 19. We're going to look at 11 of them. We're not going to look at everyone, but we're going to look at some of the crazier cards alongside Johan Cruyff. We're looking at Raul. We're looking at Eusebio, and then a couple German players that you guys know that we absolutely love. Tobias Gaming is a cunt. Let me tell you guys a story about how he's a cunt. He grew up in Cuntleton, England. But anyway, boys, really quickly want to thank the EA, uh, EA staff for inviting all of us out for the EA Game Changers FIFA 19 Capture event, which we're at right now. It's absolutely incredible. You guys can see we've got a huge Ronaldo banner in the background uh, and just a bunch of solid dudes all around. But if you guys do want to see some more FIFA 19 content, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So we're going to start off with one of the all-time Champion League goal scorers in the form of of Los Bancos Raul. He has over 200 goals, I believe, for them uh, and has an absolutely ridiculously looking card. Four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, 96 finishing, which is going to be one of the highest ratings there, 92 composure, 88 stamina, very nice as well. So 92 Raul to kick things off. Now, at any point in the video, you guys let me know if there's a stat you disagree with overall or individual stat. Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and we are going to end things there with Raul. So moving on to Makalele. Um, Completely revolutionized the defensive midfielder position. One but wait, there's more! One of the best French midfielders of all time. 80 pace, 88 defending, 88 physical. Strange thing is, uh, Kante is probably going to be better. Inter Bakayoko is probably going to be better in game. But as we see here, doesn't have much in the way of shooting, but has really, really nice physical defending and, uh, and dribbling stats as well. So... Makalele, 90 overall, the highest rated one, looks very, very good. So moving on to Eusebio, uh, one of the best, you know, up there with Pele in terms of one of the greatest players of all time. Ridiculous. 317 goals and 300 appearances. I mean, that goal scoring rate matches, uh, matches might even exceed Pele. I think Pele has something like, Pele has, I don't know, what did he have, Seven, 800 goals? Something insane in, in the same amount of games played. Obviously uh, played at Benfica and is a Benfica legend. Born in Mo Mozambique, Portuguese Mozambique. Um, and interesting story, I went to the Estadio de Luz last summer and saw his statue there, just an absolute Benfica icon. And uh, has his picture all over graffiti in, in different parts of Benf in, uh, in Lisbon and other parts, of, uh, other parts of Portugal. So Eusebio, one of the greatest players of all time. So we're gonna move on to the Buddhist Baggio. Interesting little fact, he actually converted to Buddhism uh, grew up a Roman Catholic and converted to Buddhism in uh, the mid, in the mid, I believe mid 90s, uh, and has 141 goals and 78 appearances, as well. Just a complete, complete player for the national team. Has five star skill moves, I believe. So let's take a look. Four star weak foot, five star skill moves. Has himself a cheeky bit of passing. 94 short pass, 90 long passing. Stamina not great. 76 for a 93 rated player. You would hope would be a little bit more. Uh, but obviously, the higher rated ones sometimes have a little bit more, have a little less stamina. So we've got Baggio there, brand new icon to FIFA 19. We're going with Rivaldo, won the 2002 World Cup. Thought he might have had, thought he might have got it in the bag at the 94. Uh, they lost, obviously, against France at 98, but then managed to just absolutely crush Germany in that 2002 World Cup, which was one of the worst memories of my life. Remember being up at 6 a.m. and just seeing them get absolutely crushed. Oliver Kahn incredible throughout that entire tournament just had one bad game in the final um also i believe the first goalkeeper ever to win the uh what did he win the golden won something player of the tournament i think he was one of the first goalkeepers to ever win player of the tournament at a world cup even though uh they were on the losing side of it so rivaldo and then we move on to gerard and lamps which we've had a pretty pretty hardcore discussion about which one is better uh lampard i believe has a hundred more appearances in the premier league also fourth time goal score, but obviously goal scoring isn't something Gerard was 100% known for. Obviously, he's got a couple of career highlights, uh, FA Cup magic, as well as that night in Istanbul for Champions League, where they beat uh, where they beat Milan. So maybe that's a good question of the FE. Do you think you think Gerard deserves a 91 compared to the compared to Lamps' 90? Or do you think it should be the other way around? Or do you think one of them should have more? So uh, Gerard and Lampard both have really, really nice looking cards, long shots for days, passing for days. Nice bit of stamina, 89 as well, and then 82 strength. Uh, so we'll take a quick look at the Lamp card. In terms of weak foot, Jared has three star, three star. Probably have to agree with that. And then Lamps has four star weak, three star skill moves. So a little bit better in that department. And then has the long shots as well as the passing. So they go pretty much tit for tat there. And then Lamps has the upper hand on the stamina with 92. We're going with Gennaro Gattuso, who you guys know on the channel, we have that Malakia sound bit sometimes, sometimes maybe shit, sometimes maybe good. So uh, Gattuso, one of the 
very, very good box-to-box -box midfielder, formed a prolific partnership with Pirlo at Milan, and then also for the national team as well. So he has 89 as his highest rated card. Um, not a great looking card, and as a matter of fact, probably should have a little bit more strength because he was a very, very forceful and like physical player. So I'd say maybe 88, 89 strength, but again, very nice defending stats. 93 marking, 94 standing tackle, Gattuso. Uh, looking like a very, very nice Italian option, uh, Italian icon option. Moving on to Mikhail Balik, one of my personal favorite players, instrumental in Germany's success at the 2002 World Cup, getting up to that final, also the 2006 uh, Leverkusen Champions League appearance in 04, which led him into a Bayern contract after that and played a bunch of matches for them. Uh, as you guys can see, yeah, 157, and then obviously went to Chelsea and had about 170 matches for them where he scored 25 goals, 42 goals in 98 appearances for the German national team. Um, and then if I'm thinking about Balak memories, that Podolski slap at the O2 World Cup was, uh, sorry, no, 04 Euro, I think it was. It was either the 04 Euro or the 06 World Cup, but uh, one, of those, uh, one of those memories. The stats, insane. 94 shot power, 92 long shots, great passing, 88 stamina, 85 strength, Think he's going to be an absolute beast hopefully he's released early on in the game uh but we will see moving on we've got miroslav close another german legend we had him as an icon i had him as a icon card in the world cup mode and uh, a lot of people complained that he didn't have good stats but now we get ourselves a 91 version of his card with 88 pace and i'm gonna have to say i disagree with the 93 jumping and 94 heading accuracy if there's any player in the game that should have those higher, it should be him. Feel like maybe heading heading accuracy should be about like 96 and maybe jumping 94, 95. Nicknamed Salto Close, just got up in the air. Countless games against, you know, I remember Saudi Arabia 6-1. He scored four goals in the air versus them, I believe in uh, qualifying for the 2002 World Cup. All-time goal scorer for Germany, all-time goal scorer in the World Cup competition. And 100% deserves to be an icon and deserves this 91 icon card. And then last but not least, we are going with uh, a player that Dutch Dutch supporters are probably not going to agree with that rating. They probably think he should be like 96, 97 up there with the likes of Pele. Um, completely revolutionized the game, just played the game so beautifully, and is just criminal that Netherlands have got to the World Cup final four times, three or four times, and have just never been able to, never been able to seal the deal. So, uh, 94, Johan Cruyff gets himself the uh, the five star, five star, and then just look at those stats. So. Going to end it there, dribbling, passing, shooting. Just looks like an insane card. 82 stamina maybe lets him down a little bit. Strength I don't think is going to be as important uh, this year as maybe as it was last. Uh, but we will see. That is to be determined. But those are the brand new icons in FIFA, as you guys can see here. Got a 92 with 68 chemistry. Obviously, we weren't going for chemistry here. We got some returning legends of the form of Georgie Best. A lot of people are happy about that. We got Van Nistelrooy. We got Giggsy, Stoichkov, and then Socrates, who's a new uh, new icon as well. Didn't know too much about him. Played uh, played in the 70s and mostly for Botafogo and Corinthians and then went to Europe for like a year or two. Didn't have a whole lot of success there and went back to Brazil, but just a beloved, beloved player for Brazil. And there was a uh, rumor going around that he was like, he had a doctorate degree in Scotland or something like that. And actually not true, but he is a licensed doctor in Brazil, which is crazy. That's why he got himself the nickname uh, Doctor, but just a beloved figure and died very young. I think it was like, I think he died in his fifties or something like that, but, um, Anyway, Socrates, brand new icon as well, has a really cool 89 rated card with the little headband. Uh, would be sick if he actually had that in game as well. But that is going to do it for the brand new icons in FIFA 19. A little bit of a discussion. Let me know what you guys think about the ratings, whether they should be higher, whether they should be lower. Let me know about Gerard and Lamps. That looks like it's going to be one of the more fiery debates that we have throughout the year. Um, and if you guys did enjoy the epi, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. I think.